what is the Kerry Tourism Industry Forum? So basically, it's a, essentially, it's, not, it's, a, it's, a, it's a forum for business people and employers. So as, as you may have heard me commenting before, it's for the people who are kept awake at night, uh, thinking about their business, the people who are their own personal wealth and, and, and future, and the future of their families is invested in, in tourism. Um, so uh, as I say, uh, with, with a vested interest in the, in the tourism of the county, with a view to uh, development of the, the tourism in Kerry, and, con and I'm conscious that we want to keep emphasizing this, this is about the county of Kerry, not any particular part of the county, but the whole county and how we can develop the whole county as a tourism destination in a sustainable way. And when we talk about sustainability, we talk about it with a big S. So we're talking about obviously environmental sustainability, but also economic uh, employment uh, and, um, and obviously looking after the, the natural assets that, that make uh, the, the tourist industry, uh, that are fundamental to the tourism industry in Kerry. Uh, again, to repeat, with a focus on, it, on tourism within the whole county, without favour to any one industry, uh, sector or geographical area. And you can see from the membership uh, that that, that uh, bears through. So we've uh, 13 founding members uh, as of today, uh, everything from the vendors uh, and, the, and the IHF, so the sector, all the different sectors that are involved in tourism, but also all the different geographical areas like the, tour, the Chamber of Commerce in the various large towns and the Tourism Development Agency in the, in the, in the smaller uh, areas around the county. Uh, and it, as you can see from this, it's a very wide and very uh, diverse uh, membership group, which from the point of view of development tourism carry we feel is, is, is essential uh, and fundamental to, to, to making it work. That everybody feel that they can trust in the organisation and trust that it will be looking after their interest without any favour to any particular area or any particular interest. So I suppose when we kind of started off about two and a half years ago, we, we posed ourselves a couple of questions and we've worked with a couple of different um, uh, consultants and, and, and experts in the area of uh, destination uh, promotion and development internationally. So this is not just us talking to ourselves. We have consulted widely about what would be the best way to go forward. And this question was posed to us. If tourism in Kerry was a, a single business uh, with, with a potential turnover of 410 million, and these are false uh, figures we have, but it's not about the figures really, but it's, it's, it's the context and the scale that, that, that's most important. Uh, with projected growth of 3% over the next five years, a business that potentially employs 7,000 people uh, with 1,500 enterprises in the local supply chain with 1.6 million customers, 70% of which international, and at present 8.2 million spent on marketing. And I suppose the question we, we need to ask ourselves is, as a, as a, if, if this was one business, if the tourism industry in the county was one business, how respected would we, would we be, would we operate, would we organise ourselves the way we're organised at the moment? Uh, and if we were, a, a, would say, a, a, a a foreign direct investment company based in Boston or something, and you were thinking of setting up in Ireland, what kind of attention would you get from the powers that be uh, if you were proposing to come in and employ 7,000 people um, and to generate uh, 400 million uh, euros worth of turnover in a regional destination? And keep that in mind, we're a regional destination, we're not, we're not Dublin, and while we, we are looked on with envy among, uh, among um, other parts of the country, um, that's not really for us to, to be concerned about. We need to shout for our own county and, and what we can do for our own uh, business and our own tourism. So if the company could take, uh, think, act and talk like a business, like a single business, how would it organise itself? Um, and I suppose one of the answers to it, it would define and measure success in advance uh, and be judged by its action and results. And that's what we are hoping to try and do with the uh, Kerry Tourism Industry Forum. Some key observations for some, some of these consultants. Um, is that further cohesiveness and collaboration within the tourism industry would strengthen the tourism offering um, <coughs> of the county. Uh, and uh, some of you will have been on the trip to Inverness and Loch Ness that we took back in March, where it showed while the problems aren't, aren't, aren't the same as we have in Kerry in terms of the, the, the issues that have the impact on them there, they, they, they have shown and demonstrated to us that the, the solutions can be very similar. And it is about collaboration, working together, um, as industry, as, as, as private operators. The, indivi the individual pieces of the tourism uh, in Kerry Jigsaw would benefit from a cohesive, coherent body ensuring the pieces fit together to make up one overall um, con well-constructed picture. And I suppose that's what we're trying to do with the, uh, with the, the, the industry forum. But at the first instance, we feel it's important that the industry and private industry steps up to the plate first. Obviously, it will involve engagement with the county councils, the, um, the state agencies charged with the promotion and development of tourism. But in the first instance, we have to get our act together as, as private operators and make sure that we're stepping up to the plate and doing what we need to do. And this body could help um, with areas of mutual benefit when liaising with other stakeholders tasked with the management uh, and development of tourism in Kerry. So the feeling is that um, 
while we, we would work closely with all the agencies with the county council etc uh, however there are a lot of things that as, as private operators we can do we can say and we can uh, action um, that maybe the uh, the state agencies and the NGOs can't do to the same extent so these are the kind of three when we just kind of looked at the various different issues and and uh, and problems that might be impacting on our our industry and the, and the development in the future um, sustainability of our industry. These are the kind of three main, they could all be summarised into these three main areas. So advocacy, so advocacy means obviously speaking on behalf of the tourism industry in the county to do the best we can for our industry. Uh, we're talking about insurance later on. What can we do as an industry to, to uh, move the whole insurance agenda forward? What can we do to, to, to shout as loud as we can for our county in terms of development, in terms of getting resources um, and uh, speaking on behalf of the private industry. And communication then is a third one, or second one, sorry. Where, how can we communicate appropriately? So this is 360 degree communication. So this means up to people that impact on and, 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 and policy makers. Uh, it's, uh, uh, I suppose, downwards in terms, of, in terms of the industry and ourselves and communicating better uh, among ourselves to make sure that, that we're all on, on, on a similar page and, and working towards similar goals um, in terms of the future and, and sustainability of the industry but also laterally to our customers, obviously, a certain amount of it could be marketing, and uh, what I want to emphasize is not just about marketing, um, that, but that, is, that would and should be a key element of it, but also communication with the local population, with the, with the, the people who live in, 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 the, in the host community, the people who live in Kerry who may not feel that they're directly impacted by tourism, but at the same, uh, in terms of benefits, but I feel maybe uh, in terms of congestion or other, or other things, um, and the development tourism, they feel that they have a voice and that we want to be heard, but we, we, we should be, uh, I suppose speaking with one voice as an industry when we talk to the, the host communities. And also, as many of you have heard me talk about before in terms of strategic focus, looking at the long-term development of the industry, and uh, many of us are, are, uh, are family businesses, many of us are thinking generationally, we don't think in five and seven and ten year plans, we tend to think in, you know, what, you know, will there be a business there for my kids and for, my, uh, and for our grandkids. And also, you'll have heard me uh, commenting um, in, in relation to, obviously, we, we welcome, for example, the McCroom and the Adair Bypass, like they're fantastic initiatives, and uh, we're very grateful to, to, to Minister Griffin for, for advocating those, and those need to happen, and they're vital for the, for the development of the, of the county. But what we don't want is that those roads go in both ways, and that the, 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 the towns of Kerry become satellite towns and dormitory towns for, for Limerick and Cork and that our kids who want to work in the tourism industry are competing with maybe people working in Cork and, uh, and Limerick for housing and for other resources uh, locally. We want a sustainable industry in the county that people can feel that they can work in and they can have a, a good quality of life um, both living and working in the county uh, through tourism. Uh, so the Kerry tourism industry is formalising a structure to address uh, these main points and that's a lot of what today is about. To talk about issues around the industry but also to try and engage with the wider industry to, to encouraged uh, to, to get involved and to support the initiative. So just briefly, a newly emerging model for sustainable uh, destination development, and this again would be hopefully a, a focus for uh, the forum going forward, the recognition, uh, re uh, recognising the parts of tourism in County Kerry and, rural, uh, and the rural economy and communities, uh, relationships and the building of relationships, ensuring a shared vision, strategy for tourism based on common trust and common values, um, the relevance of products, experiences, as we know, the, the customer demands are changing all the time. We want to make sure that what we offer in Kerry is relevant to the industry, to the to the, um, the to the markets out there at the moment, and, and how we might need to change and adapt to make us, ourselves uh, as as um, attractive as possible in a very com competitive market. And we're going to talk about that again later on. Responsibility in the development of, uh, of a sustainable, empathetic, sensitive, and responsible approach to tourism development, respecting the assets of the destination, its environment, social cultural interests. Um, uh, and uh, of the tourists and the capacity of the host community. And then respect, finally, uh, for the interest, the well-being of all parties included in the host community, the business community, and the visitors to, to come to Kerry. I suppose we're all seeing that the, that the trend towards um, visitors coming to the county and to the country in general, they want to feel they're contributing to the area, they don't want to feel that they're a drain on the resources of a particular county or whatever, and we're seeing situations in the likes of Venice and Barcelona, and we don't ever want to get that in Kerry, so we want to see how we can organise us, ourselves better so we can cope with increasing numbers, but at the same time that they're adding extra value to the, to the local community and that, um, that they're uh, contributing, I suppose, uh, in, in terms of, uh, instead of taking away.